Hey folks, welcome back to another daily unboxing with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're taking a look at Paranormal Detectives. Uh, this is by Lucky Duck Games, and um, hmm, looks interesting. And it says here, Paranormal Detectives is a uh, competitive deduction party game. One player takes the role of the ghost. All other players work as paranormal detectives who need to discover how the victim died. Using paranormal abilities, they will communicate with the ghost, asking questions about uh, the details of the crime. Okay. Uh, so it's for uh, ages 12 and up, two to six players, and it lasts about 45 minutes. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. And so we'll open this up. I like the, uh, the design on the outside, that uh, shiny, different kind of uh, packaging that's on there. I don't know if you can see it, but there it has it. There you have it. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up and we've got the rule book here. Ooh, it looks like the components are going to be pretty nice. So introduction, goal of the game. Um, uh, let's see. So there is some parental advisory type stuff and they do mention it right here. So be aware of that. Um, set up. All that kind of stuff. Course of play, solving the mystery, and partial progress. So after you make a guess, there are two possibilities. Memory is solved. If you guessed uh, all five keys correctly, the game ends and you win the game uh, together with the ghost. If there's a partial progress, you uh, if you guess some but not all of the key uh, correct keys correctly, the ghost notes. Anywhere on your investigation sheet that the single number uh, from zero to four, uh, this number tells you how many keys were guessed correctly, but not which ones. So then you have to figure out which ones were guessed correctly and so forth and so on, denoted down there. Uh, so the game will end in one of two different ways. A detective has guessed all the keys in the story. All detectives run out of um, interaction cards or have all made two attempts to guess the story. Uh, and either have, uh, they, they will lose there. There is a cooperative variant, so that's cool. Uh, story, uh, stories and card storing. Uh, interaction cards, different things that are out there. Okay, so um, that's pretty interesting. These look like uh, player shields. So I like the artwork a lot on these. So that's one dude, and it looks the same on the other side. So that's one character. Here's another one. Of course, you can see that. Um, then you have this lady and the nun. I really like the artwork. Artwork is really good. And there's the fortune teller lady. And we have the actual board here. So that's interesting. It is not double-sided. There you have that. And then you have some markers, dry erase markers with erasers built into them. There are some, these are like ropes, but they look like they can be positioned a certain way. Like they have a wire in the middle of them. Yes, that's definitely true. Uh, so you have these different things that you can, you know, put in different angles and stuff like that. So uh, wire rope, I guess you could call it. Um, got some cards here. Uh, what a show. Support. The Masterpiece Departure. Uh, it looks like these are all different cases that you're going to be using. I won't go through all of them, but just notice how many of them there are. And of course, there are some of the ones that have some uh, parental advisory stuff on it there. So that's, that's helpful. That's good that they included that. Um, now... We have some cards here, and these must be the interaction cards that was being referenced in the rule book. So again, we won't go through too much of this. There's looks like Ghostly Touch, Whisper of the Shadows. Um, so now it looks like maybe it might be for different characters. Huh, that's interesting. 
each one has different characters and then you have um, oh, one that's called the fool oh okay I got you these are like tarot card thingies I guess I guess that's what these are all right there's that and then we have some more stuff in here looks like different kinds of player boards and whatnot um, that's probably yeah that's for the ghost it looks like and some things that need punching out yeah these are ugh. these are coming out pretty well not not difficult uh, and then there's like some really small health counters there. I'm going to leave those in for right now. Um, and then this looks like player boards um, for each of the different players. And they are uh, shiny, so they're they're the dry, for uh, dry erase usage. So, cool. All right, and then it looks like one more. Don't know what that is. It must be for the ghost or something like that. All right, well, that's what you get in a box of paranormal detectives. Thanks for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. We will see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care now. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.